So a uh, quick video regarding a new automatic water system that I'm trying out at the moment. Um, this is what I was using, which is a 30 gallon basically trash can with some, what they're called, uh, 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 cup drinkers in them. And uh, they have trigger points in them so when the, when the duck pushes the trigger point down it fills up with water. I put this gutter system around here so that um, uh, they tend to overfill and make a lot of mess and I didn't want them drinking water out of a puddle from the sand so I can always, I can clean this out anytime I want. Just kind of pick it up and um, clean it out. Uh, the problem with this system that I ran into is, is that when ducks eat what they tend to do is take their food over to where their water is and it helps them when they eat to swallow water so helps them get their food down their uh, their throat. And so what happens is all the food and the sand and the grit and whatever they're eating ends up in their water supply. And you can see in these cups, it gets filled up with sand. And it gets filled up so high that when you push the trigger point down, it won't fill up with water anymore. So what I have to do every night is basically clean it out like so. Uh, and then it'll fill back up again. So that's a little bit of a pain. For one, I have to do it every night, and for two, it makes it difficult to leave the ducks for a long extended period of time. Um, the other system I was using alongside this was uh, some five gallon pails so that they would have an area to basically dunk their heads in. Um, if you go to my YouTube channel, you'll see those pails. I basically put a lid on top of that with kind of a half crescent moon cutout so that they can't actually get in the five gallon bucket, they can just stick their heads in there. And so a combination of the pails and the trash can was the system I was using to give them water, uh, which was, you know, it's been working okay for a year, but the problem is, is as I mentioned, uh, it has its limitations in that it doesn't continuously fill up with water. Uh, so this is the new system that I came up with. Uh, as I mentioned in this thread, I saw a product that you could get out of the UK, um, very similar to this, uh, which I thought was a really cool idea. And uh, but the problem is, is getting it over here in terms of shipping is going to be really expensive. So I decided to make my own. Um, so this is just a 13-gallon HDPE food-grade drum that I got off of eBay. I got it shipped for about $25. I put some uh, four or excuse me, four inch holes in there. Um, and all the way in the bottom here, you can see a float. And on the other side of the float is the hose. So you basically just adjust the float so that it fills up with water to whatever depth you want. And you've got yourself an automatic, continuously filling water supply. Um, the stand is basically some two by fours. Um, with a pole cut in the middle, uh, a pole cut out in the middle that goes all the way through the drum so that uh, the drum will hang level, but also so that you can curl the drum because I still run into the problem uh, where I get sand in here. They're still going to be dunking this and filling this up with sand, so I wanted to figure out a system to clean it out, which the other system didn't look like it had. So this is a spigot here that I put on the top of the drum. And to clean it out, basically all you do is come down here, grab the handle, turn it up, and out comes the water. And then you can clean it out, change out the water. You can see now the system is filling back up with water again, and it will do that so until it gets to the, the level that I adjusted at. I'm going to be putting gasketing material around here. Um, it doesn't seem too sharp, but it'll give it a nice clean finish. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. Um, this is the system that I'm going to be using in the summer. Um, I'll go back to the insulated pails in the winter. That seemed to work out really well as long as it didn't get colder than minus 20 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Um, so anyway, so that's the system. Uh, be interested in hearing back from what people think about it. Uh, pretty simple. This whole thing probably cost, oh... I'd say less than $50.